Hi you guys, uh, welcome back to the Venus Through Signs series. Uh, this one is for Venus and Gemini. So if in your birth chart, uh, Venus is sitting in the sign of Gemini, this would be for you. Um, just to clarify, this isn't for the sun sign of Gemini. Um, however, you know, in astrology, sometimes, yes, your sun and your Venus can both be sitting in the same sign. Um, but to find out where your Venus is sitting, just go to any free astrology website um, like astral.com into your birth time, uh, day, and location that you were born. And um, it's going to generate a free birth chart for you. Um, and in that birth chart, just look to see what sign Venus is sitting in. And um, if your Venus is in Gemini, then this reading is for you. All right, so I've already shuffled and cut the cards. So let's go ahead and begin. Okay. And if you guys are wondering, uh, this is my um, uh, spiral deck. I've used it before. Uh, a lot of times when I use the spiral deck, a lot of spiritual information starts coming through for me. Um, and I just kind of felt like we needed that this week. So here's the Nine of Cups, Queen of Cups, Two of Cups, Empress, Eight of Wands, Justice, Four of Cups, and the lovers. Um, also, you guys remember, um, although I like to focus on love every now and then, other circumstances speak out to me that may deal with spirituality or career or health um, or, you know, mundane things such as cars. <laughs> so, um, you know, it just happens. I just say what I feel like um, needs to be said uh, or what God is inspiring me to say. OK. Um, and also, please continue to like, share and subscribe. Uh, let me go ahead and start up here. So I feel like the heart of the situation is that um, you have been feeling suddenly confident about you your current situation, your physical appearance. A lot of you have been taking selfies. Um, I feel like a lot of you have been wanting to show people that you're confident and that kind of like, for those of you that may have gone through a breakup, you're like showing or putting out that energy like, look, I'm on my own and I don't need you anymore. And you're just kind of feeling comfortable or you're feeling confident because you set out what you wanted to have in a relationship and now you're getting it. Um, so yeah, a lot of you are just kind of feeling proud of yourself. Um, you're emotionally satisfied at this point in your life. Um, I see a lot of you being spoiled too. Um, You've been getting some really expensive gifts. Uh, if they're not materially expensive, then there's something that you're, you're getting gifts that mean a lot to you, something that means a lot to you, something that connects with you emotionally. Um, you know, like even if someone made something themselves and, and gave it to you, you're proud of it, you like it, you show it off, you think it's a big deal. Um, and it is, you know, because that's what is important to you. Um, but for some of you, it is outright, um, expensive jewelry, clothing, just some sort of gifts. Someone is making you feel like the queen or king that you are. Um, you're just being pampered. Um, there is someone that you have been spiritually connected to and emotionally connected to. Uh, you guys are connecting on an emotional level. This is a very emotional week for you guys. Um, I feel like you're 
um, month started out or is at least this week starting to um, be a good week for you. It's like, you know, this is things are going pretty well. Um, this is you, you're in your relationship, you're happy. Now, for some of you, there is some sort of third party that may be jealous of what you have. Um, not for all of you, and I'm not really seeing some sort of cheating or deception or anything, just that there is an outside influence. Um, someone admires your relationship. Someone is dreaming of having what you have. Um, I would be mindful of this person. I just kind of heard the word floozy, so I'm just going to say it. Watch out for some floozy. Uh, and it could be a, a male too, you know, a snake. Um, I don't know what type of fish this is. I don't know if this is an eel, but it looks like a snake to me uh, lurking around. Uh, your surroundings, this person could be a Cancer. They could also be a Scorpio or Pisces, but... Uh, cancer is popping out for me. Uh, this person could be very intuitive, very spiritually nosy, meaning they have a gift and they're always checking in on your relationship or what you have. So, yeah, be mindful of him or her, whoever they may be. I want to say, you know, again, Jezebel or Harlot, whatever those those terms are that define that type of person. Or this could be you. So be, be careful of what you're doing. Um, you know, keep your distance. Dream from afar. Um, you know, try not to disrupt a relationship that's already happening. Um... But for many of you, I, I kind of feel more so is you uh, also daydreaming about the life that you want, the person that you are becoming or want to become. But I feel like you have met someone that you just overall connect to emotionally. You guys just kind of get each other and you guys also share um some sort of ability like empaths uh those who can connect to other people's emotions or um or psychics or people who have premonitions like you guys are both you have some are in tune with some sort of uh spiritual psychic connection um now, I feel like you're going to receive a lot of big news with your business. I feel like you're going to cause a stir. Also, from an outsider. Now, I know at first I wasn't really picking up on a third party, but I am starting to pick up on a third party energy. Again, not saying I'm picking up on cheating, just a third party energy. This is someone who is very mysterious and magical and they can speak things into existence. Meaning esoterically, this is a witch or um, a spellcaster or whatever you want to call it. This person has the ability to hypnotize. Uh, he or she is waving that um, almost like that that spiraling image that you know is is very hypnotic. They're waving this, 
<laughs> it's just funny to me because I just saw Get Out. I don't know how many of you went and saw that, but it's just making me think of like the whole thing. Oh my God, I hope I didn't just give away a spoiler. I'm sorry. I won't say anymore. But I will say that this person is very good at commanding what they want. And this is a third party or you yourself are the third party. Uh, but you're someone who can command and have the things that they want. Spells, yes. I'm seeing spells. Um, the, the, you are a very powerful spellcaster or the person the third party is. Because they're saying it and the universe is answering. Like whatever they're wishing for. The universe is blowing it out. It's like, here you go. It's the universe is like saying your wish is my command. And they're making all these things happen. So if you're trying to get someone to speak or communicate with you, you're making it happen through the use of your spell work. Um, now, I am not someone who is has a strong opinion about um sorcery or witchcraft um because i personally believe that spells can be they're only long lasting if it's real if it's meant to be um so if there is anyone using any type of spell work to come in between your relationship and it it works uh i'm gonna say the separation that they can cause is only temporary uh, if it's not meant to be. If it's meant to be with what you and that person have, if the love is real with you and your partner, it, even if they do lure them away, um, it's not going to last. Um, and that is all I would say about that. Um, but I feel like... A lot of things are happening quickly. Um, you're sending messages out into the universe and this person is hearing your messages. Um, they can hear you. Whether it's dreaming or their intuition is telling them to text you or call you, I feel like it's working. Some of you may be dealing also with a Libra, a Gemini, possibly an Aquarius. But there's this intuitive in this air-like quality. There's a decision that's about to be made. I feel too. I feel like you're making, you're trying to be fair. Okay, some of you belong to a religion that stems from peacocks. Or the peacock gods so if you want to google that like if you're curious about your spiritual calling or I feel like it's coming from it's stemming from um, those people who I forget what you call it because I've seen it before but it's it has something to do with peacocks um, so look that up a lot of your gift comes from those ancestors. I feel like if you are a spellcaster or a witch, that you're trying to to be fair with your spell work. Uh, I feel like you're not trying to cause deception. Like you inscribe things that um speak truth um or when you do spell work you're saying only if it's meant to be like you don't want to cause any unfair disruption so it's like you're <laughs> you're using good judgment you're trying to help someone make a decision because too the relationship has been at some sort of standstill or I feel like the person had been trying to decide or make some sort of decision and your spell work is trying to get them 
to have clarity and to make a wise choice. Um, if you don't practice um, spell work, for those of you that keep saying, I don't do this, well, I wish you would stop saying that. The, the, no, that part is not for you. But those of you that send prayers out into the universe, prayers, you're praying for that person to make a right decision or you're praying for that person to come into your life or for that person to, to leave or divorce someone, your prayers are still going out into the universe. Prayers can be spells to you guys, however you want to view that. But whatever the case, I just feel like whether it's actual spell work or prayers or thoughts or you just writing something down in your journal that you're trying to send off the right message into the universe. Someone is undecided. It could be you, it could be your partner. But the answer is right there for you. Uh, I feel like you're looking, you're isolating yourself. Um, it's like you're looking at past relationships. There were three people in your past and there's only one that you truly want to be with. And that one is in the back of your mind. And I feel like you're waiting to hear from them. Like, I feel like you're not going to do anything to speak out to them because you're waiting for them to come to you. Um, I feel like you're kind of wishful thinking too. You're wishing for some things. Um, before I forget too, there's something about some legal documents that is also popping out, like you signing contracts or legal documents. So this may have to do with you in a new job, you or a current job, or you starting your own business. I feel like you're um, doing a lot of signing documents and for some of you it's electronic like you're receiving these emails from your job and you're having to sign um off on a lot of electronic paperwork or uh, e-signatures um now I don't know what's going on, but this is the third reading where I feel like um, a twin flame is connected to you somehow. Uh, or this is a very, if it's not a twin flame, I feel like you're getting involved with someone who you connect with on a soul level. Um, I feel like you are listening to your spirit guides or you're listening to your intuition and you're asking is this right? Um, because it feels so good and it's so good to be true. And I mean, like, even with like uh, love making, it's like incredible. And you're just like, this is too good to be true. And you're asking, is this right? Is this right what I'm doing? For some of you that are a third party, I feel like you're asking, is this right? Because you're like, how could it be wrong? Because our souls connect so intensely. It's like spiritually, sexually, and intellect, intellectually. And you know this is your soulmate. You just have this knowing feeling that nobody can tell you anything else. And I feel like you're questioning. You have a lot of questions that are still unanswered. Something about this justice card keeps speaking to me too. Something about fairness. Um, doing the right thing. Making the right decision. Karmically, I would say be careful what you put out into the universe because it's only fair that you receive what it is that you put out. Or whatever you're experiencing is because of something that has already been put out into the universe by you. Having something returned to you. Uh, okay. Somebody's been 
giving their all. Someone's been dowsing themselves in baptism worm. For again, going back to my witches, um, love baths or spell work, you've been dowsing yourself in all this spirituality. Um, and I feel like you're still not getting the response that you're longing for. You're wearing your heart on your sleeve. There is someone that you're still dreaming about. Some sort of dream, something that seems far-fetched. And for those of you that haven't met your twin flame, but you're dreaming about them, I feel like you've been doing a lot of praying and asking, can you please meet this person? Can they please? I just feel like you're really trying to connect to God. Your emotions are just spilling out. You're trying to make a plea. Um, you're leaving out little messages. Some of you on your windowsill or your doorstep, you're leaving like offerings uh, to God, like to show God that you mean well, or it's like you're pushing this and you're like, here, God, here's my petition. Here's my prayer. Here's a gift. And you're, you're like waiting for some sort of reward. And the universe hears you. The moon here tells me that there are some things that are still being weighed. You need to have patience because there is things going on, on a, in the spiritual realm. And you need to have patience for it because everything is God's speed. Things are going to unfold as they should. As far as wondering if you're going to get a sign or indication for my female viewers, I want to say to look out for uh, your next menstrual cycle. Um... Some of you may become a little overwhelmed emotionally. You may be a little depressed and feeling like you have put so many prayers out, yet you're still feeling some sort of void. And some of you are feeling like you don't belong here. You say, I don't belong in this world. Like you feel like such an outsider, like Everyone notices you. Everyone notices that you're different or unusual. Some of you like the attention or you like it that you're known for being unusual or weird. And that's how you feel like that's well, that's how he'll find me or that's how she'll find me is because we're both two strange individuals and nobody gets us and so I don't want anybody to get me unless they're on the same page as me or that same vibration as me so you're leaving out these little signs I feel like you're leaving trails like for your true love to find you um, and although it seems far and distant the star always reminds us that to remain hopeful. Um, because I see a lot of you have just been putting a lot of energy out into the universe. A lot of prayers, a lot of energy. A lot of you uh, give back or put more into the relationship than the other person. Now, for those of you that are not, that are in like established relationships, I feel like there is some things that's going on that's been, that has been one-sided. Um, and either you or your partner has been putting more into the relationship than the other and it causes this void or this feeling that something is just missing. You can't connect that puzzle. You keep trying to fill it um, with pieces that don't fit.
some of you are, are just getting very in tune with your spiritual and psychic side. You've been having some sort of wild out dreams that don't make sense. And I feel like you're trying to connect the dots. You're looking for answers. And there's some sort of secret, some secret decision that you have made. And now you're waiting to see, you did something in secret. And now you're waiting to see the results of it. You're waiting to see if it's going to happen. And he did hear you. He heard you. Uh, some of you, for some of you, it could be a fire sign, um, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. And he could be an older person. It could be a woman. Again, th these are general readings. Um, but because it's a male on here. Uh, and I'm getting like, he's very regal. Uh, he likes to have a lot of attention. Um, I almost want to say like the messages you're sending out are like the, the signal for the Batman symbol, like you cast it out into the sky and only the right person can hear the call. Um, like if it's meant to be, they're going to see it, they're going to feel it and they're going to answer to you or they're going to find you. I, th I feel like they do, they're on the way. Um... This person is very, I don't know if they're intuitive by nature, but because there is this connection between the two of you, you guys just have a specific connection and they can feel and hear you. Um, I feel like you guys communicate from far apart, like either in a dream from like two metaphysically from, you know, different realms or internet um you know or you know this is you're dealing with someone that's from a distance someone is apart from you but you're still very much connected to this person and uh a lot of times you get weary um you know waiting on hearing from them but i feel like they're going to come out when they're ready um they're gonna get that passion that is building up in them that 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 desire to uh, speak out or to come forth all right so you guys this has been a general reading uh, remember for private readings you would email the mat 76 at gmail.com uh, just click on the description box and it's you know my email is there I still don't have a website so uh, make sure you guys are emailing me directly okay um, if that changes I will notify you guys uh, but thank you all for watching please continue to like share subscribe and leave your comments below Many blessings to you all.